I think what happens is they often get consumed by the city. They get consumed by the city and the attitude in the city. And I think you need a governor who's actually had real success in his state and real authority. And I've had real authority in my state. This is the strongest governorship in America. I've had to make real decisions and tough decisions, hard choices. People are fed up with handing this over to Congress for them to do it. And a president who's essentially been an absentee in the Oval Office in terms of leading. I, I think he's a professor. This is not a leader. He's a professor. And, and, and he likes to pontificate. But leading means really, really hard, difficult choices that this president's been unwilling to make. And by the way, his secretary of state is going to be the third Obama term. She's moving further and further left every day. Um, and she's unwilling to make even hard decisions now. She won't tell us what she wants to do with ISIS. But ISIS was created on her watch. She won't tell us what she'll do on the Keystone Pipeline, yet that's been held up on her watch. Um, so, you know, we don't need the same kind of failed leadership in Washington. Hillary Clinton will be a disaster for this country the way Barack Obama has been. We need a strong, tough governor who can go in there and work with the other side, but also stand strong and make hard choices when they need to be made.